Alright guys, this is homework set from um, weeks 12, 13, 14. This is uh first two problems have to deal with this Z alpha notation, uh, in particular Z alpha over 2. Now, when we do a confidence interval, um, we have an interval has to have a starting number and a stopping number, but these intervals are going to represent uh, the middle numbers. So I got a little visual here. Um, for this first problem, we're looking for these numbers down here, this one and this one, that correspond to uh, the middle 96% of the data. So a cutoff 96% here, cutoff 96% uh, here, and between these two values is 96%. So that's what this is asking us to do. It's basically saying find the number down here that cuts off that 96%. All right. Now, if you're thinking about, um, we've seen notation like this before. This is a critical value. So we're looking for a z-score, and we're given a percentage or an area or a decimal uh, a probability. So that's the job of the inverse normal. Remember the inverse normal takes in um, area, area to the left, and it returns. Let me get rid of that off of there. It returns uh, a z-score. Okay, so we have to put in an area to the left. Now remember, this 96% is the area in the middle. So back to this picture. If 96% is the area in the middle, we're looking for this number down here. Right? Remembering that the whole thing from largest to, to uh, smallest is 96%. And that means that these little tails right here is the leftover 4%. Okay? And because this thing is perfectly symmetric right here at the middle at the mean, that means that down here is two percent of that remaining four percent and up here is the other two percent right but in particular this down here at the bottom is two percent right so the area to the left of this number right here is 0 0.02 the area to the right of this number is 0 0.02 so when we plug into the inverse normal, we plug in um, 0 0.02, right, and that gives us this number right here. Now, a quick, easy way to just look at the number that's on here and plug it in there, uh, your calculator can handle it if you, instead of plugging in just 0 0.02, are going through and thinking through it uh, like this. What's the area left over in the tail? If you just want something that uses that number itself, then just take, um, let's put it in parentheses, 1 minus, change this to a decimal, so 0 0.96. Alright, close that off and then divide it by 2. Okay. All right. There's the division by two. Alpha is one minus this number, so one minus 0.96. This right here is alpha, and then alpha over two. Divide by two. Okay. And then when you hit enter, it's going to give us the same thing as it gave us before. All right. Now the important thing to remember: this, when it's asking for this, it's wanting the positive version, just like it was last time when we were finding critical values. So just remember to take that negative sign off of there. Alright, so to two decimal places, this would be negative point two zero five. Or positive. Take the positive version of the number. Alright, this one says find the critical value alpha over two that corresponds to alpha equals point oh five. Alright, big difference between one and two. One's giving you the percent in the middle. 2 is giving you alpha. Right? Remember what we just said. And number 1, how do we get alpha from this number? 
we subtract 1 minus that number. All right, 1 minus 0.96 was 0 0.04. That gave us alpha. And then alpha divided by 2 was 0.02. All right? But in problem number 2, they're giving you alpha. Alpha is 0 0.05. So we don't have to subtract this from 1 this time. Okay, So we got inverse normal. All right, not subtracting it from 1, just 0 0.05 all right, is alpha. All right, and then this says alpha divided by 2. Divided by 2. All right, so negative 1.9599, two decimal places, negative 1.96. But remember, don't put the negative in there. Just take the absolute value of that number. All right, it's symmetric. We're looking for the upper number. Uh, so we can find the lower number and just change the sign. All right, I'm gonna go back and do one, uh, like number one again, and then do no, uh, similar one to number two, and that way we can kind of compare and contrast the the methods again. All right, so we're gonna do a similar problem to one. So I'm gonna click similar exercise. All right, now they've changed it to 87%. So in the middle now instead of 96%, now we've got 87%. All right, so that's the only thing that's different. We're not going to do any work differently than we did the first time. All right, remember, if you want something to go straight into your calculator, it's uh, inverse normal. All right, put a parentheses, and then it's 1 minus 0.87. Change it to a decimal. All right. This is alpha. 1 minus 0.87. 1 minus this percentage is alpha. And then divide it by 2 because it's telling you 2 right here. Divide by 2. All right. There's our number. Uh, 1.51 to two decimal places. Don't worry about that sign. All right. One more time. Uh, 86. So, inverse norm, parentheses, 1 minus 0.86, that's alpha. And then divide that by 2. Hit enter, boom, there's your number. Alright, that was negative but again change it to a positive. All right, careful with your rounding. Make sure you round it correctly. All right, number 2, remember that's different. Number 2 They're giving you alpha. So when they give us alpha, we don't have to subtract from 1. So it's just point oh six. that is alpha and we're going to divide that by 2. Alright, don't worry about the sign. 1.88. Alright, 0.09 this time. So, inverse norm. This is alpha, so 0.09, and we divide it by 2. Alright, and there's our number. 1.695, that rounds to 1.70. Alright, so that's how you do these first couple of problems when we're talking about critical values and I had this Z alpha over 2 notation.